Hi, it's me, Pam Vinny, and I am going to continue this little craft with me uh, using the Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook. Um, I've been making a couple of these, and I know it's kind of a long process, so um, I'll just do a few things. Um, I have this fabric. Um, it's like a flannel. It's so cute. It has... Um, um, it's like a, yeah, flannel. Look how cute. The little ducks. And then it had horses. And it's really soft. Cows, which I used here. I cut it. Oh, Hobby Lobby. $10 for all of this, which isn't bad. And then the chickens and pigs. So I cut, you know, just a strip of it off. And I might use this for tag two veggies. Like I said, I just have things all around me. Um, I had some this fabric here, I believe. I got it from Marcy Creators Call Shop, I think. Hard to remember. So what I did, I just... Um, stitched it and then I hot glued it on so I thought it was cute for the the meat uh, area here um so what else we can work on I'm thinking here <clears throat> excuse me is like I have some of these little vintagey look and I don't remember I have so many digitals I think I have hundreds which is crazy so just let me know and I will uh um you know I can look it up this is kind of cute with the chickens that'd be cute right there it could be poultry or eggs and cheese Eggs and cheese might be cute there. I'm not sure. Cute here. I also thought this might be cute. I'm thinking I'll put that there. This little carnation evaporated milk. I don't know if people use evaporated milk like they used to I know in some desserts you know you use them use it let's see and then I'm thinking here was scrapbook paper and this was part of a digital I'll have to look that up and I had made this little tag just a collage tag I'd like to do I keep saying that I want to just make a bunch of I don't have a lot of made up ephemera but it would be nice to have on hand but I do so many different types of journals that you know I mean if I just did one style then of course I could do a lot and they'd go in every one but because there's so many different ones that's kind of hard um I'm thinking this margarine I had this piece of paper which is kind of cool. I thought for in this pocket of folding it. And I've done this before. I like to like, you know, get a bag, paper bag, and then have things sticking out of the top, you know. I think that's kind of cute. How far down do we want it? Maybe uh, I'm thinking like that. So I think I'll glue it on like that. Let's see. So some of it will be sticking out. I think I'll just have that part. So below here. That's what I'm thinking. So I hope you're doing good. Today's another beautiful day. I think tomorrow we'll go 
farther stay up north a little bit. Sit along the water. There's so many lakes in Michigan. I think you can just go 10 minutes and you'll run into a lake. Um, yeah, and then I'll just ink that. And I may uh, round the corners here. So this would be fun to put in here. It's like butter. Cute. Um, I could put that there. Or, you know, I might want it someplace else. I'm not sure. Uh, what else can we do? You know, it might get too full. Or I might have to pull something out. You know, section out, like I said before. And I'll do ruffles and things. We did this yesterday. Okay, let's... Let's come to this section here. What is this? We have pies and tarts, strawberries. This is sweetie pie. Isn't that cute? And I would like, I'll have to back that on something. So that's a little tag, cute. The pies and tarts. Uh, I was thinking of maybe this was going to go in the vegetable area. So let's check out. I added this yesterday. It's a cute. She's got um salad there serving for the salads and dressings, and I made a belly band, so I'll have to make a tag of some sort for that. Um, let's see, maybe it was vegetables. Yeah, I think here. I was thinking about and also using this fabric for something because it's got all the vegetables. Perfect. I'm thinking about for this section. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to take a section out of here because it's getting kind of full. So, I think I'm going to put this, but then I have other um, cookbook journals that I'm making, so I'll just, you know, add that to a different one. Uh, here, it's a digital, and I roughed up and inked the edges. You can do it with a scissors or one of these Tim Holtz things. I don't know what it's called. But it's got little, you know, it cuts. But you could also do it with the edge of a um, scissors. I'm thinking this here, and then maybe this little bow. And I'm going to, I was thinking about putting burlap here. So I'm going to sew around here, and then I'm going to glue it down, and then I'm going to try to find a piece of burlap. I found burlap, and I'm going to... Uh, I'll think I'll cut it first and then I'm just going to put a little piece here. I'll probably ink this white and then I'm going to add that burlap. I'll probably put it down with three in one. And um, so I'll cut this. And then I'm going to, like I said, just sew and then I'll glue it down. Okay, I uh, put a little hot glue and regular glue to um, adhere that. And then I stitched around it. And then I'm going to glue. around three sides here and then add it as a pocket 
right here to the vegetable section. That's cute. Then I'll add this little piece here. And how do I want to do it? I know I want this little fabric bow. And maybe this framed around the stitching. And that, I think. Okay. I might want it a little uh, dimensional, so I'm going to use my hot glue gun. I really like this one. It's a sure bonder. Does it say detail glue gun? Oh, it's kind of messy, but. Okay, I use it, right? It's going to be messy. Okay. You know, you just got to be kind of fast though when you do anything with hot glue. So I'm going to frame it around the stitching here. That's cute. And then this little um, fabric bow. We'll put it right here. Okay. There we go. I like it. So, I was just thinking I needed a little company, so I thought, well, I'll film and um, you know, show you what I'm doing. I don't know, maybe this is boring, maybe it takes too much time, but I thought I'd just show you. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? Let me put the pin in without uh, poking myself with a needle. <laughs> Look how cute this is. Porter house. Porter house. That'd be cute in the meat section. Okay, what else do we got? Now how to find something to put here. I think I need to glue this more. What else can we do? There's lots to do. I just I just switch back and forth, back and forth. Okay, here I've got this really cool wrapping paper. This is an envelope. So here, this envelope. Um, I have this tag. <clears throat> so. I think this fabric that I have, which is fun, I think I will glue it to here. And do I want to just do it to this part down? I think. So I'm going to. With that aside and glue it, I guess I could try my new um, three in one beacon. Let me take all the wrappings off it. Okay, I got the uh, little paper that was in there so that it will freely flow. I'll probably stitch around the edges so. And um, really, I don't know if that's going to look bumpy, so I'm going to just rub it in a bit and add this fun fabric. Okay. 
Okay, I'll probably let that dry. And then sew around it. Maybe I'll use my pinking shears. So we'll do that. Okay, I'm just uh, using my pinking shears. And now I'm going to sew around. Okay, I just sewed around. It's kind of a cool vintage fabric. And then I will you know, put something in there. Let's see how it's going to look. And then I found this like vegetable recipe card. Perfect for this. So, um... I'm going to put that probably in this pocket we made. Perfect. If it fits, I should have left this open part. This part's open. So we'll leave it like that so that it will fit. Then, let's see how this would look this window envelope I like it I could add a little word here if I wanted to it turned out really cute and then I've got the little stickers here love it okay what else here we have a few little things like I put on basil cute little tally card and there I punched out a little heart and then this was embossed. I'll add some papers in here. I've got a uh, probably got some something vegetable-y like um that'd be cute too. I could just add this here and then this could also be a tuck soybeans this is like a pit game i think i'll add that okay let me sit back down yeah that's cute just gives it a little more interest too and we'll make it so that it could be like a tuck And then if you wanted to add something there, you could. Then here, I just had a few things in here. Um, what was I thinking? Okay, so I had this from a vintage like encyclopedia. Is this vegetable there too? Uh, would something like that be cute? I think it might like if I tore down the side here what could I do and then I'd add papers in here Yeah, this is like a textured uh, okay I think I want something maybe underneath it uh, do I want you know just something what's this little I got this out of my scrap paper drawer Maybe I could ruffle or something, sew down. And maybe, oops, I didn't mean to, I can still see it. A cauliflower, asparagus. 
think I'm going to sew down this little ruffle here and then the corn. Okay, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and stitch down. Okay, I really like that. Uh, stitch down the little vegetables. And it's kind of fun with this textured paper. I'm going to glue. this down and there we go and then I'll put paper in here later and I could glue a little bit down here too of these it's very cute So that'll go in here, quite a bit in here. I think I'm going to take that out. I could just put this little card in here if I wanted to. It has some of the orange from here. Is there anything else? Okay, we're 21 minutes. Okay, uh, here. I, uh, this is cute. Look at the little pig paper and I folded it up and it has corn stalks, corn stalks on this side. And I added a little tractor. So, uh, I think this is KB and friends and that's from a magazine on this kind of a fibers paper, corn stalks. And then I will ink around here. So there's your corn there. And then here, I just added different strips and I'm going to add something more to it. And what will it be? I'm thinking maybe something with green in it. Uh, let me see what I have for... Correct. This is pretty. That looks really pretty with this. So maybe I just want to add a little torn green here. Something a little more. Possibly. And then... I think I will add this just to bring more green in. And then I'll do some stitching, I think. Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, I think I'm going to just uh, do some stitching on here. Okay, as soon as I um, pause the video, I find something else. And I saw this uh, from the fabric that I just made a tag out of. And I think I'm going to cut and tear this because it's got the corn on it. So I'm not sure what, but something that would really make it pop. I think I'm going to sew this to the top and then do other stitching here. Okay. Alrighty. I just did some uh, different little stitches on here 
You know, I have a little corn resin piece would be cute here, but I think it might add too much bulk. But, um, and then I can ink around and um, I could put paper here um, because you can really write all over this. So let's see here. So that'll go in this pocket and that's about 25 minutes. So I don't want to keep it too long because I know probably don't have time for a lot. That's cute. Um, got this from Marcy. Creators Call Shop. So cute. She stamps on her the whole fabric piece there. And I thought that was cute there. So I don't know. Maybe we have just a minute to do something more. Um, I like this. I think this was from uh, KB and Friends. And that would be cute. And let's see. That could be... Well, let me look around and see what I got. What page? Okay, maybe we'll just do one more thing here. Um, I think I'm going to use this little piece from KB and Friends. I just inked around it. Uh, this side is open. Just cut it. So I can tuck something here. And then I'm going to use this burlap here. And I'm, I have this doily. Kind of brings some of the urn doily. You know what this is. Yo-yo. <laughs> um, okay, and then... Me, my husband just came home too, so... Uh, I may... Um, uh, I have to turn it off if he's talking. I don't think he knows I'm on video. Or have a video going. Let's see here. Now I'll probably add more glue or some of this here. Then I think... Yeah, I'll add more glue here. I'm going to add this. So something will go here. And we'll see if this glue will hold if I have to come back and use something different. And then I can tuck something here. <clears throat> and then this yo-yo. I'll put somewhere, which I don't know. And that might be cute, because you're going to have something in here. And then this also is a pocket here with this uh, acetate. So... I just think it needs something here. I like that. Whoops. Dropped it. Okay, so this will probably be the end of this video, and I'll just work on it and, you know, stamp and add, add some things. So um, I guess I'll just show you when it's all finished. So, yeah, I've still got, you know, quite a bit to work on. I have to, you know, work on this and a few things. So, we have that, too, done. So, thanks so much for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.